one of the more useful and I think underutilized groups of cover crops are the sweet clovers. Sweet clovers are uh, traditionally, historically, were one of the most widely used cover crops in American agriculture and, and really throughout the world. They have a, a number of advantages. Um, they have the ability to grow on very poor soil, um, which is useful as, for a cover crop. They're a legume, they're great nitrogen fixers, uh, they have a huge taproot, they have an ability to free up unavailable phosphorus and potassium from uh, bound forms in the soil. Uh, so they have a, a, a lot of good uses. What we're looking at here, this is Hubam sweet clover. Most sweet clovers are biennials. They grow vegetative, they grow up, uh, produce seed in early spring, grow vegetatively that first year and then uh, the next spring they'll shoot up and produce uh, flower and produce seed. Uh, Hubam is different. It's an annual sweet clover and it behaves differently depending on where it grows throughout the country. Um, here in the north this is planted in, in the spring sometime and will flower and produce seed in the fall. In, uh, in the south it's used as a winter annual and it'll plant it in the fall and it'll come up and produce flowers in the spring. Uh, one of the great benefits of Hubam is this is this is October 3rd and look at all this bloom here. If you're concerned about honeybees, pollinators, producing honey yourself, um, this bloom very late in the season is what honeybee hives depend upon for their winter survival. So this late bloom nectar and pollen flow is very very important for bees. If, if you are interested in pollinators or uh, honey production I think this is a, a tremendously valuable plant in addition to what it does in the soil. It's got nice tap roots that penetrate hard pans a lot of nitrogen and ability to free up nutrients. It is also uh, somewhat useful as a grazing plant. So I think there's a lot to like about this plant and I think we ought to be using more of it.